What's up you guys, I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to make a video about a question that a lot of players are, have been asking me on Facebook, just through social media, just a general question in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Which of these two cards is going to get banned first? Is it going to be Vanity's Emptiness or Anti-Spell Fragrance? And if they are, are they both going to get hit? That's another question people are asking. And it's pretty crazy. Our list is coming up soon. We don't have an exact release date. We never do. But we do know that a list will be coming hopefully before y the YCS in Seattle, which will be in February. So that means that, uh, you know, it's less than a month away um, or a little over a month. So we'll definitely have an answer soon. But a lot of people are saying that these two cards are definitely up up for the chopping block as far as getting banned and there's reasons behind both we're gonna start with vanity's emptiness so a lot of people feel that vanity's emptiness needs to be banned because the card is one of the most powerful floodgates if not the most powerful floodgate in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. literally saying you cannot special summon is crazy it shuts off the entire special summoning mechanic which is huge in Yu-Gi-Oh. uh however the one thing i will say with vanity's emptiness is that it's a lot easier to out than uh, other floodgates some floodgates are a, a kind of a pain to out whereas you have to destroy them directly the thing with vanity's emptiness it's one weakness is that you can out another card and that automatically can get rid of vanity's emptiness which is really cool so vanity's emptiness at the end of the day is not impossible to get rid of whereas some cards are a lot harder where you rely on drawing cards like twin twister mst of course i'm talking about anti-spell fragrance the reason people want to see this card banned is it's decided many, many YCSs um, before uh, being able to completely shut down the entire Pendulum mechanic. And because of that, a lot of players just said, I've had it. I'm tired of seeing this card. I'm tired of just auto-losing to this card if I don't draw the out. Now, you can make the argument for any Floodgate. You can lose to a Floodgate easily if you don't draw the out. However, Anti-Spell Fragrance is in a class of its own because when you're playing a Pendulum deck like Metal Foes, if you do not draw an MST or an Archfiend Eccentric, uh, I don't even think Archfiend, no, Archfiend Eccentric doesn't even work, but if you don't have uh, the out to this card, like Galaxy Cyclone or whatever, uh, you really struggle. You cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. You cannot activate your scales. All you can do is set your monsters, and that's it. That's all you can do. You cannot play your deck the way it was meant to be played. Now, the counter argument for Vanity's Emptiness is that Vanity's Emptiness is the same thing. It basically says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. How I feel like if your deck, if all your deck does a special summon, you might have a problem with your deck. I know a lot of decks these days don't have a normal summon summon but a lot of times uh you need to be able to normal summon to get around problematic uh problematic boards so i feel that definitely um either of these cards are up for grabs to get hit uh, when i'm in my ban list predictions i put them both on there now personally i would like to see honestly i would be fine if they limited anti-spell fragrance to match vanity's emptiness i feel as one of they're not too hard to deal with now people will argue vanity's emptiness is just so broken it needs to go i honestly don't feel that it is uh i feel that if your deck auto loses to vanity's emptiness and you do not have a way around it in your entire deck you need to rework your deck that's just my personal opinion i've lost to vanity's emptiness before i do main deck outs to get around it i didn't draw them that's not an excuse but it's just saying okay i lost to the card i couldn't draw the out my left point reached zero before i could draw draw an out to it it happens it's Yu-Gi-Oh. it's a one of it's a one of floodgate are they gonna see it maybe what are the chances of them opening it not that high so i feel that vanity's emptiness at one is fine it is a card that can sway a duel it is a card that can you know it is very unfair at times but i feel at other times it's a card that may that actually needs to stay in the meta so that decks are not just free to special summon all they want and you know just just completely just annihilate the board and literally just without any cause you know like uh, cause for concern so i feel that vanity's emptiness at one I'm fine with it. If it gets banned, I'm also fine with it. I actually am not biased on this. I don't really care what happens to either of these cards. If both of them go to one, both of them go to if anti spell goes to one, vanity stays at one. Fine. If they both get banned, fine. I'm fine with it either way. I just want to know what you guys think. Start a discussion in the comments. You know, go at it. Do you feel? that both of these cards should be banned and if so why do you feel that vanity should stay at one and anti-spell should be banned why do you feel that vanity should be banned and anti-spell should stay at three why i feel that anti-spell is definitely up for grabs to get limited if not banned so it'll be interesting to see what happens on our upcoming list but i'd just like to know what you guys think so be sure to leave a comment below if you like these type of discussions be sure to like the video let me know that you enjoyed it uh just try for 50 plus likes just to get more discussions going i like doing these videos uh let me know what you guys think vanity's emptiness or anti spell for I guess which cards getting banned or are they both getting banned we'll see in the next list hopefully it'll be coming in a couple weeks and we'll know the future of our game so yeah let me know what you guys think leave a comment below I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching